Scorpio. You little lust monkeys, you. Oh my God, look at you. Hey, it's Teresa bringing you another video in the series of Can They Be Trusted? This is for if he comes back, can he be trusted for the sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or possibly your Venus sign. Guys, these are general readings for November 27th of 2016th. Hopefully they resonate. They're really, you know, it's a five card spread. It's straightforward. Either it'll resonate or it won't. So, guys, I do work with Cindy at Your Indigo Path. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. If you are looking for additional services, check the links below or go to yourindigopath.com. Big shout out to our sponsors, Star Ackerman and IK Multimedia. They do provide the iRig mic lob and the iClip grip. We are very grateful for the sponsorship. They help us out a lot. Guys, seriously, please go over to, to their site. Check them out. They have products and services that can help anybody and everybody who's in the production or specifically in music. I mean, there's just such a variety of equipment and services. So go check them out, ikmultimedia.com. All right. <laughs> so you guys win, Scorpio. You may have the most uh, positive spread so far out of, the, out of this week. Look at you guys. You've got a king of cups coming back. And uh, you want to know, what is his intention? You know, King of Cups, he's an emotional dude. Could very well fall into the water signs of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio himself. This guy wants to hook up with you, be with you. He, but actually, he wants more than a hookup, guys. This time, he's not coming for a quickie. He's coming for the real deal. He wants to go meet with you on a very deep, sincere, emotional level. That's what... His intentions are. Now, you will need to know why is this person coming back into my life and what you need to know. Well, you need to know this dude's got the tower in reverse. So his tower has crumbled and the only thing remaining is the foundation. He's come out of a dark, he is coming out or recently has come out of a dark situation. But if you will notate the illumination, the foundation of his tower is being illuminated. So his characteristics, his core is true. What is not true is no longer there. So you don't even need to worry about that. Um, it, the next question is, hey, can I really honestly trust this guy, yes or no? Well, you have the priestess card. Heck yeah, you can trust him. Look, this guy's gone through a morph. I mean, he's like morphed from where he was into something really cool. He's king. He, he wants to get into your soul. He, yeah, he wants, to, he wants to get it on with you, but he wants to hook up in... In your mind as well he wants to be on a soul level with you so as a high pre uh, as a priestess card yes you can trust him because you understand his foundation is illuminated he has changed looking for a soul connection with you you will find out things about this guy that you did not you, when you knew him in the past you had no clue I mean seriously things are going to come to surface and because it's on a soul commitment and and approaching as a soul yeah, approaching as a soul commitment is going to balance you because of it being a soul instead of a physical, just physical. And it's going to, it's going to kind of balance you out because, like I said, some things about this guy are going to be illuminated and brought forth, but it will keep you balanced in your opinion and your relationship with this guy. All right. So now that you know you can trust him because he is coming from a better place at this time, if you say, eh, nah, blow him off, whatever. You see this card? You get the Eight of Swords up your ass, big time. This will be you trying to run and hide and, and hide away from the world in your own little bubble. And these swords are going to poke you in the butt, bottom line. In other words, it's going to hurt. So your message and advice from Spirit is a temperance card. This guy is a changed person. You need to give him the benefit of the doubt. You do need to try to trust him because with temperance, he can offer everything to you. Everything of beauty, everything relating to the heart and soul, he can bring it forth on such a deeper emotional level with you this time than he could in the past. So congratulations. That's rocking badass awesome. You get somebody who's not just a pretty thing to play around with under the sheets. You get somebody who wants to meet you in the minds. Congratulations. I love this for you. 
So my little Scorpio friends, hope it resonates. Hope you enjoy. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.